Every time you cough like that, do you ever think smoking weed is worth it? Yeah, I do. Oh, good thing there's no more plastic bags in the water. Just the reusable ones. We did it. We saved the environment. Let's celebrate, everyone. We saved the environment. What is going on, losers? Welcome to the Lost Losers Podcast. I am your host, Mr. John McQuitt. Joining us once again... I'm gay. I'm gay. Young Jamie. Good old Kentucky. What's happening, everybody? How are you? How is everyone? We're all good. All right. First time people watch it on YouTube and Rumble. Please hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Rumble, please leave us these wonderful five-star reviews. Do all that wonderful stuff right now so you don't forget and hit like and share for all that good stuff. Now, everyone's good. We've made it through. You're here. It's Tuesday if you're listening. We're all good. We're all happy. I guess we're alive. Good. Glad to hear it. Glad to see that. (laughs) So, the wonderful, this is the first time listening to this podcast. We like to kick off with the weird and interesting shit that has happened to us through that week. So, Jamie, what's going on, brother? How are you? Man, what's happened? How'd that wish Uh, go? It's been a decent week. It's been all right. It's been. I feel like such a 20s week of the week started. My week basically starts on Sunday. Yeah. And yeah. Or, yeah, yeah. Or I guess either Friday or Sunday, depends yeah. on who wants to call it. Yeah. But, um, you know, there's a Saturday in between there, right? Yes, but I'm okay. already. I've already been working a day. Our guy, I still got a few days until I stop working. Gotcha. Go on. Get uh, but I get paid on Friday and I go to the ATM after work on Friday to go pick up weed. And as I'm putting my card into the ATM, I get a text message that there's $8 in my account because I had to set up a gas bill for payment plan or else our gas got turned off and i forgot the date and as i go to pick up cash to go get bud it's just like nope fuck you so no beat for you so i had to scrounge together from like a few different people money so that i can share weed around and make everyone happy and still be able to smoke a little bit (laughs) Oh. Now I know why you want to come and live here. The oh, <laughs> that's not the only reason. Yeah, uh, I want to go live with Uncle Biscuit because I know he always has a stash. Yeah, it'll be all right. Yeah, you fucking mooch. It's Continue. a safety net. That's what it's called. It's not called being a mooch. Mm, you're carrying <laughs> your ass weight around here. Go on, continue. I'm sorry. But that's how my week basically started, and it just pissed me off of like, well, there goes my entire paycheck. Because I was sick for two days, I only got paid for basically a day. I had just enough to pay the bill, and then I was just all gone. You and couldn't so- even pull money out of the ATM, because what ATM takes lets you, you, there's nothing. You had less than $10. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, there's a $3 surcharge fucking like at everyone around here Uh, so i've done that one we've all done that yeah exactly i've gotten lower oh i've been in negative (laughs) no 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 i've yeah well i've done that too before but (laughs) i I guess but no i've been in negative but i've also hit it where i forgot something like that and i had a truck payment come out another Mm -hmm. bill come out and everything like that and i went to the atm to go grab cash as well and I went, I better check my balance. Because that was before they sent text messages and shit. Yeah. I had like 78 cents, I think, in my account. I went, <laughs> I need to go home and get on my computer and log into my account and seen everything. And I went, oh, yeah. <laughs> you're like, they're not wrong. Not wrong. <laughs> you're, it. Like, you're just like, well, fuck. Yeah, nailed it. Guess I'm just going to sit here and eat ramen. Yep. That was pretty much my reaction because I wanted to go grab some food afterwards and everything. I was just like, babe, we have to pick up groceries tomorrow 
and I don't got anything. <laughs> I, you know, I wanted ramen. I guess, you know, I wanted ch- uh, that chicken nuggets is just going to have to wait. Yeah, that's pretty much. I was just like, fuck. Oh, uh, I feel like it's such a 20s moment, though. Just like uh, everyone goes through it. Everyone like, does. <laughs> everyone does that. But that's how the week started. And then the entire week was not very enjoyable because of that i was grumpy the entire week just because i was so stressed about money and everything and then i got a good paycheck this other day so i'm good but uh it was just like a struggle all week just pissed off tuesday uh haven and i had a little bit of a date day we went up to huntington and stuff so that was nice right on got to wear my new converse for the first time and everything new boot goofing up in huntington that's where your life's at right now where you're excited about wearing new shoes yes how old are you i work in a kitchen now i can't wear a fucking fun shoes really at spencer's i could wear all my fun shit now i got a uniform i'm sorry continue (laughs) i i just never thought like someone in their 20s like their exciting part of a one of their days was I got to wear new shoes. Yeah, if I get to put an outfit listen, together and everything, look it's all right. No, fancy. listen, it's okay, Forrest Gump. Take it easy. I'm not judging. I'm just never thought I'd ever hear that <laughs> ever. All I'm right, put a nice outfit together. It's fine. And get the fucking Dude, ma- my matching listen, shoes. It's all right, Forrest Gump. Continue. I'm sorry. You know, you got new shoes. Okay. Yeah. I all like right. my Chelsea boots and shit. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> I have more shoes than Haven. By like four or five times. <laughs> it's just dumb. I'm going to let you know something, James. What? Anybody who listens to this, no one's shocked. Oh, yeah. Not no. one person. I'm surprised by that. Comment. Haven just wears her Doc Martens and just so content with it she's just like yeah i just need my boots and i'm good <laughs> but uh got to wear my my new boot goofing up in huntington mm-hmm. had some fun yes. <laughs> <laughs> we got edgar Allan poe uh coloring book adult coloring book mm-hmm. just black and purple <laughs> <laughs> no that would be funny what it's that's just the ravens yep that's all <laughs> you just look annoyed i know i i love i actually love <laughs> edgar Allan poe and that's the only thing that was my joke he's like the, i i'm like that's a great fucking joke that's a really good fucking joke it is because yeah. and i was trying to think of another one but i can't pull anything out of my ass right now you're good and you know it's a good fucking joke <laughs> but uh nothing much it just was a lot of back and forth taking haven to work i had to go uh babysit freddie for a little bit the other day uh and (laughs) that little shit is the biggest pussy fucking dog that i've ever met wait until you meet that little dog he is the whiniest, bitchiest little dog ever, and it's fucking hilarious. Because I was telling someone just about shit he was doing, and they were like, what kind of dog is he it, at work? It, and I said a bulldog, and they were just like, huh? He just whines. Mean? Just what, needs whines attention. Fries. But yesterday, or not yesterday, but when I was babysitting him, our cats bullied him under our fucking bed into the corner under it. Yeah. And I had to fully pull the bed out and drag his ass out and fucking everything from our little, like, maybe 15-pound cats. <laughs> Smacking him and everything. He's getting bullied, dude, by cats. That's fucking, he's a 15-pound little bulldog by two fucking cats. That's fucked up, man. That was, oh, it was hilarious. I hate it was cats. so bad. 
he hit, ended up just hiding in the bathroom the entire time he was here. I could not get him out. I'd kick a cat's ass, man. They're fucking there bullying my dog. So I don't know that Freddy's, Freddy's the, really coming back. My Freddy's the best, dude. He's chilling right next to me, hanging out. <laughs> he loves everybody. He sat by. We sat by fire. Anyways, go on. I'm sorry. That it. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> But at work yesterday, it was all right. Eric's continued being weirder. I've found out that he's been attacked by his girlfriend with his home defense two by four and some weird shit. And so I just That's a, that inspired. is a West Virginia move right there. A home defense two by four. I told you, did I tell you about him acting as if the manager was sucking his dick while he was on the clock and everything? Yeah, so he walked up to one of the managers while she was on the ground, crouching down on the ground, checking temperatures in a cooler and stuff, and came up behind her and put his hands with gloves on, grease on his hands and everything, on top of her head, and did a motion like she was sucking his dick. And just, like, try to just continue on with his day. And like three other line cooks fully like cornered him and fucking how does he still have a dad? him? how does he sell the job? I don't know. And I mean, yesterday all, I saw him harassment. just like Hashtag me too. start playing slap ass with the fryer lady. And I was so close to just going up to manager and just being like, hey, I Ruby obviously isn't going to be saying anything. What the fuck is this? And it was just Ruby herself was like, please don't. I just don't need it. And so. Dude is insane. He needs to be fucking fired. Speaking of insane people. Yeah. Speaking of yourself. Yeah, I'm insane. We know this. And and, and listen, and it kind of segues because this dude's an asshole. Same for you. I turn it. (laughs) Yeah, no, that's not (laughs) not true at all. This dude's a complete another asshole. You know, he's like Farva from Super Troopers, and I'm like the other guys. Because this happened to be yesterday. So I'm putting freight on the shelf, and I'm in the dog food aisle. Yeah. And this lady's get looking for some dog food, and I'm putting away some cat food. And she goes to whip her hair out of her face, and she has the long beaded kind of hair. And it kind of wraps around and smacks me in the face. Oh, no. And I turn around and I'm like, ah, my eye, my eye. And she's like, I'm like, she's like, oh, my God, I am so sorry. I'm like, listen, I don't mind getting hit in the head with some hair. I'm like, but I preferably in a place with some candles doing fun adult shit. I'm like not standing in a dog food out of the Dollar General. I'm like, and she goes, oh, my God, you should go home right now. No, wait. Okay. I'm like, I don't think they're allowing me. She goes, I'll get you off. I went. <laughs> yes. 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 It went. Wait. Yes. And she goes, oh, my God. And she turned around and walked up front. And like go get her checked out. Like she got after dog food, and I've never seen sprinted out there. I've never seen a dark lady turn so red in my life when she was like, "Oh, I'll get you off." And I went, pause, threw my hands up. I went, "Thank you for walking right into my joke. Thank you for this. Thank you." Oh, that's too perfect. Out the door she went. About two minutes later, the managers come walking by, and she goes, oh, we're supposed to let you off work the rest of the day, not get you off work the rest of the day, by the way. That's amazing. And I started, I'm just, hi, here I am, ladies and gentlemen. That's literally just happened yesterday and that was a great segue see the transition how (laughs) that dude's an asshole and i just play 
one on TV. Oh, that's so good. How do you, how did she walk that into it? People do this around me all the time. It's that's a gift. That's too good. It is a gift, ladies and gentlemen of mine. Speaking of gifts that I have, there's been a lot of deaths recently this week. Do you notice? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, it kicked oh, Jeff Beck passed away. Yep. One of the greatest guitarists. Like, literally, top, you put him any on any list. Great guitarist, Jeff Beck. <clears throat> legendary guitarist. <clears throat> passed away. So, I sent that article because I, th- you know, to Andrea because then her dad went and seen him. I think he just was just in town and went and seen him. I'm like, hey, do you see this? Andrea goes, no. Oh my God, that's sad. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And she goes, I can't. She goes, my God. She goes, I can't believe Jeff Beck passed away. She goes, speaking of which, she goes, how is Keith Richards still alive? I'm like, well, with Jeff Beck <laughs> just passing away, I'm like, he just went through the quickening. So he has another two years to two years, two years added. Anybody does know that reference? It's a Highlander reference. There could only be one. That's what they call it when they chop off their head, the quickening. Yeah, nerd alert. Got it. <laughs> so that continued to the very next day when Lisa Marie Presley had a heart attack and died. Yeah. Which led to this interaction when Andrea texts me and says, holy shit, now Lisa Marie passed away. And I went, Add six months to fucking, I go add six months to Keith Richards was my next comment. Instead of saying, oh, sad. (laughs) He got more power. I go add six months. She goes, I'm like for being the daughter of a musician. She goes, she was the daughter of the king. I'm like, oh, two more months. (laughs) To what the fuck is wrong with you? To me telling that story to Kelly Loper Mm -hmm. to Kelly Loper bringing up the best question actually I think I brought up the question but to Kelly Loper bringing up the greatest comment to that I went do you think she had her heart attack on the toilet like her dad and Kelly Loper going oh my god please so please so i mean thoughts and prayers but my god please so let it have me for a second it looked like you were jacking <laughs> like the jacking motion oh, while like please so please so i know it probably happened <laughs> thoughts and prayers that's a very kelly thing but dude do you really think she might have died on the toilet like that'd her dad? be amazing that if I'm a Presley, I'm never using a shitter again. Like, I'm pooping standing up. If my last name is Presley, I am pooping standing up. After after 60, you can't use a toilet normally. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> my last name is Presley, I'm pooping standing up because you might have a heart attack on the shitter. <clears throat> Don't oh, sit down on one. They just push too hard. Well, her dad was fucking blacked up with opiates. Oh, yeah. His colon exploded. Oh, yeah. He had a list which of shit going also, on. Which also brought up another question by Kelly Loper. Do you think he had a sandwich with him when he was on the shitter? I know he had at least had a cup of coffee. There's at least a cup of coffee in that room. That was my answer. I had Haven give me a bite of her burger while I was taking a poop last night, and it really weirded her. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that's weird, dude. I'm moving on real quick. But do you think Elvis had a sandwich on that shitter? I have no idea. That's disgusting, by the way. (laughs) I wasn't pooping yet. There's still poop particles in the air in your bathroom. (laughs) 
I wanted a nibble. Do you think Elvis had a sandwich? Definitely not. I don't think so. But I, I know think, there yeah. was a cup. He had there was a cup of coffee in there. A few I bet lines. you lines. Huh? A few lines. Oh, that was what it's Jesus. But if Lisa Marie had her heart attack while on the shitter, if I'm a press, I'm pooping standing up. <laughs> and so that's not the one that married Michael Jackson. That's the one that married Michael Jack- Jackson and Nicolas Cage. Oh, wait. There's only Lisa, one Lisa Marie Presley, buddy, or was. Uh, I didn't know if there was more, like, more Presley daughters. That's all I meant. I don't know their fucking names. I'm 21. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what are you losing? <laughs> what? I didn't know her fucking middle name. You were just saying Lisa Marie. Lisa Marie Presley. There was, yes. oh, and I go, there was, I go. I thought there was a different name. To it. I'm like, I'm like, she, I'm like, she was only one Lisa Marie Presley. I'm like, was. Oh. I didn't catch that. Yeah. I did <laughs> and was losing it at my own joke like an asshole. So I was like, what is so funny? No, I'm 21, I'm, like. I understand why you don't even you can't even write in cursive. Yeah, no. I'm fine with that. No, it's not okay. You can't even read the declaration. You can't even read the Declaration of Independence right now. Nope. Jesus fuck. Anyways. (laughs) Speaking of you speaking of useless. Back to my fucking week. I love how that bothers you so much. It really does. It really, really does. <laughs> really, really bothers me. It's not like it's an not my not, fault. I know it is now because you're an adult and you can uh, go sure. learn it. Sure. Uh, but as an education standards, it really bothers me. Like to the point <laughs> that actually angers me. Because I think the education system in this fucking United States is garbage because the government keeps stepping in and fucking it up. But moving the fuck on. Speaking of getting pissed the fuck off at useless people like the government, (laughs) there's a guy named Steve at one of these stores. (laughs) This fucking human piece of shit. Wait, Steve, I, I didn't listen after I heard Steve because I was just thinking of the monkey from Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. When, is his name at one of these stores? What store? Not naming it. Okay. But fuck <laughs> this human piece of garbage. Like if Steve, he's one of these people that will do more work to get out of the work that he. Yes. It would have taken him to do. Like yeah. it takes a more effort to be fucking lazy than it would have done do the fucking job in the first place. Nope. Like he's that piece of fucking flim ball of a human being. <laughs> like, and I made this kind of, like I was going, I was so pissed off at this piece of shit, this fucking piece of chewed up bubble gum that I looked at one of the ladies. I'm like, it's unbelievable to me that God wasted that much human flesh on one piece of shit when he could have created three halfway decent people. And she went, oh my God, that's over the line. I went, not even close, because I'm not even done with this fucking retard. Like, seriously, he is a hard R motherfucker, retard. Retard R. Like, he is a step away from a bib and drooling on himself. Fucking stupid. Can't stand him and likes to play the fucking games like the little fuck fuck games. Oh, so and so was doing this, so I had it. And he's a snitch. I fucking hate the cocksuckers. I gave a laundry list of like four things that I won because this dude was in charge of this store that needed to be accomplished by Monday morning. So we would have been set up for this week of fucking walks. They half assed three of them and didn't get accomplished any of them. Yeah, and he started coming up with all these excuses, and then starting to spit on me. 
I wanted to fuck. If I ever catch this dude out of work, I'm going to knock his fucking teeth out. Like just for probable <laughs> cause. There's a reason why you're 57 single living in a house that your grandma gave you because no one else would take your fucking worthless piece of shit in. Yeah. Fuck you. Like, God damn. Like, what the fuck is wrong with these people? It'll just be thank like, God he, he said she said she. That's she it. Said, that's and all then he, he takes it to the and manager. Thanks, uh, and and thank God this motherfucker hasn't fucked up the gene pool by having kids. <laughs> I hope he's fucking sterile. Jesus Christ! Don't fuck it up for the rest of us. Stay in your little hobby hole fucking corner and shut the fuck up is what you need to tell people like that. This is far as you've gotten because of the way your attitude. Because you know why? No one ever told you this to your face. Yeah, Oops, that's how I, feel. I did on Monday. I got mad and read and rattled that all off to this dude into his face on Monday, and he just stared at me and goes, Well, you're not perfect. I'm like, never said I fucking was. Yeah. He goes, Well, I don't see you trying to fix it. I'm like, Yeah, I am. He goes, I see you doing a lot of complaining. I'm like, Yeah, but I'm doing something to fix it. What are you doing? Still fucking standing here. Fucking retard. Fucking get the fuck out of here. I'm surprised <laughs> I have a job. <laughs> Fucking people drive me up the fucking wall with their bullshit like that. Stay in your fucking lane. Do your goddamn job. What you get paid to fucking do. Shut the fuck up. Go home. Jerk off to whatever porn that gets you off and leave me the fuck alone. Yeah. Oh, yesterday. Well, Eric I just climbed on a, I just, just climbed on a high horse, didn't I? Oh, I am sorry. <laughs> yesterday, Eric came in screaming Ooh. about how messy the area was and all this shit. And I was just so fucking pissed already. And then he started asking me a question of like where I was on orders. And I started giving him an answer and he just cut me off like immediately. So I was just like, I'm not fucking talking. So and I just like shut the fuck up. And I was like, figure it out. Fuck you. So I just had a, a proving like, we're moving on. I'm getting off this fucking piece of shit. Fuck work. So I was just talking with my neighbor. <laughs> and speaking of pieces of shit, Joe Biden, uh, three days in a row. Like, we had three deaths in a row, and we had three days in a row. Like, we had. I haven't seen anything. We had Jeff Beck, Lisa right Marie. Oh, wait, hold, on. My life. hold on. We had Jeff Beck, Lisa Marie Presley, Presley then Robbie Knievel die three days in a row. Oh, bang, shit. bang, bang. On and that's each, the son that did the stunts and stuff, right? Just like Evil Can yeah. yes. But he did not do the stunt. I think he died like a heart a heart attack as well, which is weird. <laughs> a lot of people dropping I mean, dead from heart I, attacks. I think it's better if they don't die from the stunts, John. Listen, that's true too. Yes, <laughs> I agree. But like, at least John, you want them to be like ripped apart? They have to go out in that way. I didn't say you, you called me fucked up. You would just assume that he would go out that way. How old is he? 60? Don't you expect him to still be doing fucking stunts? I think his dad did one until he's like 70. <laughs> and you called me fucked up on my takes. Hey, just say thoughts and prayers. Anyways, well, you know how old he was. He was in his sixties, but we had fucking three days in a row of fucking them finding classified documents at Joe Biden's house. Like, That's fun. What? classified documents like when joe biden was vice president he took classified oh. documents and had them at his house oh that's funny and we had that three days in a row but and then we had three deaths in a row to just to cover it i guess i don't fucking know thanks for sacrifices jeff beck <laughs> lisa marie presley and robbie can evil so robbie stopped when he was 50 i'm trying to find evil can evil yeah evil can evil See? Fuck it. I'm done. The shark jump was the last one, wasn't it? I don't know. What was his like? How old was Robbie or Evil Can Evil when he died? 69. Evil Can Evil was 69 when he died? Yeah. How'd he die? 
Um, jeez, I'm on Wikipedia. It doesn't. It's not okay. There. Uh, diabetes and idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis for many years. So just heart failure, long term uh, heart failure. All right. Oh, that sounds like this one of those things about ran in the family. Ooh, that's so 2007, and his last jump was in the fucking like 80s. Really? And he would go do like wheelie shows and go ride around, but like serious jumps, like no, he stopped that decently early. Well, I guess breaking all those bones, you know, really uh exactly, perfect, you know. Yeah. I mean, I know how I feel. At yeah, that's my thought. I'm just like, all right. Good point. He was like in his 40s when he stopped. Huh. His son went longer. Huh. Yeah, Who knew? I didn't, well, I didn't, I didn't know, know that. that at all. Who knew? Robbie did it even longer than Evil. That's funny. Huh. <laughs> huh. Well, thoughts and prayers. Yep. Just saying. That's in prayers. So, speaking of Joe Biden, so me and my neighbor were talking about those classified documents that got released just a few minutes ago. And he goes, where the fuck is Joe Biden from? And I'm like, and I had to think for a minute. I'm like, oh, Delaware. And he goes, how did you? He goes, how do you know that? I'm like, let me tell you something, how my brain works. The only reason why I know that Joe Biden's from Delaware is I think of the Wayne's World movie, or in Wayne's World, the movie. When they're in the front of the green scheme and they're like, Hawaii, who quack leaky, come on, Amy. And they're oh, like, yeah. And they're like, Delaware. Hi. We're in Delaware. I'm like, oh yeah, that boring motherfucker is from Delaware. That's how I remember. That's where Joe Biden's from. <laughs> and my neighbor goes, Your brain is truly amazing and how you connected those dots. <laughs> how you... Like, I <laughs> He goes, I never would have put those. Nope. No. Nope. Never would have. That's not how I would have gotten it. I went, nope. That's how I did it. He goes, some people have a photog- or photogenic or photographic memory. He goes, you have movie references. I, I don't I don't even know how to fucking describe that. What just happened? He goes, I don't know. And I'm like. <laughs> Listen, folks, I'm a hard person to get along, live with, and get along with. I get it. Because <laughs> this is how my brain works. It's like me as a kid when I was really into Deadliest Warrior. <laughs> and I'd just see like a random weapon and I'd be like, well, that's from. It's <laughs> awesome. Uh, speaking of defenses. At some point, we need to take shrooms and watch Deadliest Warrior so you can see how ridiculous of a show it is. I'm good on that. But yeah, you ever watch it? Yeah. Yeah. I remember watching Thousand Ways to Die, all that bullshit. Yeah, I don't need to watch it on shrooms. I'd like to be happy. (laughs) All right, let's get into some stories, ladies and gentlemen. And speaking of defenses, Hmm. I think this is a good defense, but. Actually, I think this is a really good defense. What's the most deranged thing you have ever seen anyone do? I was in a bar when some guys got into an argument. The aggressor got kicked out and the guy who he started a fight with went to the bar and everyone continued. As I'm going out for a cigarette I see the guy who had the fight started with him going out the door and the aggressor was waiting outside and jumped him. Motherfucker immediately stuffed his fingers down his throat and vomited on the guy. Straight up defense mechanism puke. The guy who was trying to fight just ran away. One of the wildest things I've ever seen. I need to use that. That's the greatest thing I've I've if I would have what? I need to use that. What this dude? It's come on, you want to fight? <laughs> what? <laughs> There was there was this old flash game when I was a kid called Hobo, and it was a side scroller beat 'em up that you would just puke and fart on people as your attacks, and it just reminds me of that. 
Okay, so that you thought of that. I thought of Fight Club. Fight Brad Club? Pitt when he fucking let's say Lou Lou and he punches keeps punching him, and then and like all of a sudden Brad Pitt tackles Lou. You don't know where I've been, Lou. And he's spraying his blood all over him. Oh, he- <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what puke scene is in Fight Fight Club? Huh? I was like, what puke scene is in Fight Club? Well, when he does that. It does a cut, and one of the guys who was in, like, one of the guys who was fighting in Fight Club vomits. Oh, okay. And I, I don't see. Once again, that's my brain. <laughs> I was like, that, <laughs> it's probably a two-second clip. It's dude, but that's but that's one of the def- and then the def- the disgusting defense mechanism of a guy vomiting. He uses bodily fluid. Brad Pitt uses his blood, or Tyler Durden uses blood. That's Same amazing. thing, huh? I gotta close this blind real quick. You know, (laughs) everyone gets to see my dad wear for this week. Guess it is t shirt and swishy. Sandler fit. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, to use vomit as an attack. I need to try to use that at some point. That's amazing. What? uh, Puking on somebody? As like a fight, fighting. Our defense mechanism? Yes. I don't know, man. (laughs) That's amazing. I mean, it's fucking wild as shit. (laughs) Just, I'm just imagining walking to a room, just standing in the middle, like getting stared at, just making yourself vomit to (laughs) prove dominance. (laughs) So you assert dominance. You just come and vomit in front of everyone. You're just like, yeah, come on. <laughs> First of all, I'm, I'm. It takes. Just imagine like a Buffalo Wild Wings. Give me a second. Someone just here's, walks in, vomits, and is like, "Come fuck me up." Here's my thing, though. Thinking about that, like, it takes me a few finger jabs to fucking get myself to puke. For me, it's like the first one. Really? Yeah, I can do it. I can almost make myself throw up without even. Use of fingers, though. <laughs> what? You can, you, you can get yourself without fingers? I don't yeah. know why. That may just be giggle for some reason. No, I can just use... I can control my tongue well enough that I just I hit know. my uvula. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> that just sounded like get yourself or without using fingers. Sound like a corny Dave Chappelle skit. <laughs> talking to like an r kelly like r kelly so i am a guy use my, you just say r I kelly i just imagine i am a guy use my own fingers he'll I, do it for me like <laughs> girl girl i go and got my fingers to get you there like i don't know why that's what jumped in my head sorry where were we i got bill i stop, got bob stop, who do stop. you want stop you All have right. 20 options between two guys <laughs> But anyways, this. But I couldn't imagine being on the puke on command like that. Like you can do that. Yeah. Ugh. That's weird. <laughs> it's weird. I don't. Yeah, I can't. Like it would take me. Well, first of all, like if I see the dude shoving his fingers down, if I was about ready to fight him, I'd be like, "What the fuck?" It would throw me off. I mean, it's I gotta crazy. get lighter. I gotta be light on my feet. Like that's a good. To, I'm like, it would have thrown me off for a second. I'm trying to make you slip and throw me off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, since so, I was, hey. it was from a very young age, I've had anxiety stomach, and like it was like kindergarten or first grade, walking in to meet my teacher with mom. I just threw up in the parking lot, and I was like, "Let's go." And it was just like since then, it's always been. I've I puke at least once a week. I puked before this. Like it's just normal for me. Okay. So at this point, I have. It's some like an, kind it's of like I guess it's it. like an anxiety just puke. That's all of a sudden your yeah. anxiety is just like. All right. Yep. All right. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Oh man, a lot of joints. Okay. And so I have decent control out of, of it. Of like, I can feel like I'm a puke and wait like five minutes. 
and just like hold it that, down. So this might be your perfect fight defense mechanism that we just discovered. <laughs> it might be. Like, hmm, thoughts and prayers. So <laughs> thoughts and prayers for the next motherfucker. You gotta, gotta watch you. Come on, motherfucker. You're like, huh? all right, let's go. <laughs> what the fuck? I just I, I puke onto my fist so I get extra poison damage. <laughs> <laughs> nope. I tap. I ta- Nah, man. I'm out. If I'm out right in front of a motherfucker, all of a sudden he goes Bleh! on his knuckles, and I'm going to be like, I'm out. I don't even know what I was mad at you for anymore. What? You fucked my girl? Go ahead, dude. Fuck her again. Ain't she ain't that great? I'll find a new one. It's fine. Like, you fucking Jesus Christ. That's definitely a dude who pooks on his own knuckles is a guy who definitely has herpes. I guarantee it. Like, that dude, ha- like, don't, like, what the fuck? That was just. Bleh. Extra poison damage. You gotta, you gotta build your Skyrim character mid fight. You gotta look around at what weapons That's are around you. You do realize real life isn't Dungeons and Dragons, right? Like, but it is. That's but it is. <laughs> Tell, tell me a jewelry store isn't a loot dungeon. Well, if you're not living in San Francisco, normally they're a, just a jewelry store. You go in and buy something. <laughs> San Francisco, they are a loot dungeon. Yes, you are correct. So maybe San Francisco or California now is Dungeons and Dragons. The rest of us are still living in civilization in the real world. In Small towns are just fireball spells. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> I hate you that I you got me here. I hate you that I'm actually went. He has a point. I literally <laughs> just crossed my mind. I'm never ever smoking myself a lace joint before I do this podcast ever again because it got me here to I just thought went through my head where I went huh James has a point right there and I almost came to your side so we're still in California being Dungeons and Dragons and the rest of us kind of still being in the real world Don't tell me that Molotovs just aren't fire spells. I went, no, yeah, he does have a point. That just got me here. I'm never being this high ever again doing this podcast. That's a lie. <laughs> I just lied to myself. But Jesus Christ. <laughs> Come on, that was a good one. It was. I was kind of proud of you. <laughs> Jamie. So you're gonna do the defense max or the puke defense max get neck a little boom bong. You're gonna do that. I'm, I'm de- I am definitely doing this. I'm gonna be this grandpa. <laughs> Ready? Yo. Yep. My grandfather wants me to prank people after he passes away. He told me yes. that at his age he hasn't got very long left and asked me to promise to do something. He said he'll give me his phone and after he passes away, he wants me to use it and text everyone to thank them for coming to his funeral. Just to freak them out. It would be his last joke. I don't really know what to do about this. He's always had a crazy sense of humor and I do want to honor his wishes, but this seems to be going too far. I also don't want to make him a promise now knowing that I'll break it later on when he's no longer around. First of all, you do that fucking promise. You do that promise. You do it. You do that fucking promise. Second of all, I'm doing that. (laughs) All five of my friends who show up to my funeral, because let's be honest, I'm the first one who's going to go. Jamie, you're in charge of my phone. You're pranking all everybody. <laughs> <clears throat> Everyone in my text. Out. 
I need to figure out something for Haven and Allison to do. I'm being that grandpa. Josh might fuck with some people for me. I'm not sure that. though. Yeah. James, you that's your that's your job. I'm fine with it. I got so many normies in my life that they wouldn't. A hundred percent doing that. What the Austin Why? would do it. I got a few people. I got too many fucking uptight people in my life to do kind of shit like that. Nope. You do that to everyone in my phone, buddy. You go right through my contacts list and you text everybody and you're like, you go through the guest log and you're like, oh, yep, 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 yep. Yep. And right from my phone, you text everyone and say, thanks for coming. <laughs> Good seeing you again. See you guys later. I want to let you know a lot of you motherfuckers, I didn't like. <laughs> P.S. It's real warm down here. P.S. I'm saving you a seat. Don't need a jacket. <laughs> it's okay. He wasn't as judgmental as you thought. You think. Either one, you don't need a jacket. So it's just up to them to decide. Yeah. That's it. You're definitely got to, something along the lines. You're going to send it like, hey, thanks for coming. Uh, or see you shortly. <laughs> so ominous. <laughs> hey, like certain ones, you got to say, hey, see you shortly. You don't need a jacket. Am I going to get the cops called on me? Probably. Like, you, like after I die, not one, not anytime soon. We we can't make it ominous. I could get in trouble. I feel no. like for this. It's from my phone. Yes, I still feel like I could get in trouble for this. No, it'd be fine. Be fine. Be fine. <laughs> you gotta text them. You're gonna. I'm gonna give you a list of certain people, and you're just gonna text these people. Hey, it's gonna see you. I just want to let you know you don't need a jacket. See you soon. Bring beer. <laughs> oh, God. That's it. And it's going to be from my phone after I have gone to the great beyond, hopefully in another 40 years, <laughs> 40 years from now. That's it. That's it. You got to go through the guys and that's it. You want to be well into your 80s? I'm 41 now, you dick. I'm not yeah. well into I'm doing the 80 and out plan. <laughs> what that's all i have to say i just have to get your age slightly wrong and you're just like ah i feel because i feel 90 now because i got two <laughs> bad knees hit back i'm cranky go fuck yourself and i'm probably halfway through a midlife crisis so you can suck a dick on that one too big boy you haven't gotten your hand blasted yet, which you've said you would. I am so. getting. I am. I thought. I thought. I was thinking about that when I got out of the shower today. What I want to do. <laughs> I got ideas, and it's going to cost me a lot of money, and I'm saving that money up. <laughs> yep. Oh, it, yeah. It's going to be like I got a couple of things I got to do beforehand, but I, that money is going to the side for that. Haven went over to a Friday Thirteenth tattoo thing yesterday with some friends, and they were charging like a hundred twenty. For the yeah. fucking tattoos. And it's like, isn't it supposed to be like a, a sale? Like a marathon sale and everything? And they were just doing like random ideas, whatever you come in with. Yeah. It's like, that's not the fucking point of Friday 13th. What the fuck are you doing? Is you, is you, is a flash sale. Is you yeah. Was, yeah. So, And they just weren't doing that at all. And they had like 200 fucking people show up. And so. Right on. A lot of people are pissed. <laughs> James, would it? I'm surprised this didn't happen to you. Mm. I am about ninety percent surprised this did not happen to you. Today, I effed up by accidentally naming my nephew after a Pokemon. I was on a family vacation, <gasps> driving around the mountains, and while in the van, my little sister had her kid. 
the family is in celebration and apparently there was still a discussion on what the child's name would be. Father not in the picture, long story. While they were discussing potentially unique names I kept overhearing they wanted it to begin with the letter Z, for whatever reason. By pure coincidence I was in the van playing Pokemon oh. Sword on my Nintendo Switch in the back and I had just caught Zacian with a quick ball. Truthfully this was my second attempt at him and I just opened with it. I jokingly suggested, hey Zacian is a cool name. It means sword in Japanese. My mother and family loved it so it's now official. On the real, my older sis and GF are the only ones that know the truth. So now we are getting some Pokemon related gifts for the baby for Christmas to reveal the truth and make it a funny joke. That's kind of funny. How did that not happen to you? So my manager at Spencer's, her son's name is Onyx. Which is another Pokemon. I know there's people out there naming their kids after Pokemons. I get that. Yeah. But, dude, I'm surprised there isn't, like, you weren't having that conversation one day, like, sitting there talking and just threw out a random name and your sister going, that's what we're naming Wilder. (laughs) Oh, with Allison, there was no fucking chance of that. She would never take a name suggestion from me. First of all, Jamie. Quit being so negative. Second of all, if she, you, it's a, if it was in passing, and she was like, and you said the name in passing, and she was like, I really like that name, not Maybe knowing what it was. That's what I'm talking about. You know, Allison's one of those people that if it's not her idea, it's the wrong one. I know that. That's why if she <laughs> heard it in passing, it was like, oh, I like that name. I'm going to name that baby mine. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And that making an, her idea. Mm-hmm. I know this. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. <clears throat> Got to make her feel like she comes up with it. Yeah, I'm surprised this didn't happen to you. You know, you have Pallet Town on your fucking stomach. <laughs> That's what I thought of when I heard this. I'm like, how did this not happen to James? Is this not your? St- how am I not holding baby Zathron right now? <laughs> Is it a wilder? This is just going to be like our daughter's name, Misty, or some shit. Do not name your daughter Misty. No, that would be the fucking last thing. I would not do that. Do not ever know. Like, Misty is not a girl's name. That is a, Misty it's, is rain, and that yeah, is it. That's, yeah, do that's not, not a good name. That is a 60s, 60s ruin that movie name for everybody for year, generations. I think Dawn and like some of the other names are really just like names. Karen's have ruined Karen. Yeah, like the name Karen for generations to come. You are literally going to have to live a hundred years, I and the more. Karens will have to die out. And then, like, someone's going to read a book, like another apocalypse is going to happen, and one day they're going to find a book and it's going to like read Karen. They're like, "Oh, that's a great name for a baby girl. Let's name it Karen." And then the cycle will start again. Just saying. I wonder if, like, Karen, like, the topic of Karen's has been brought up in a book yet. Todd? What is it? Todd? What's Todd? The Karen's of men? No, I'm saying, like, the the concept of, like, Karen's as, like, a derogatory term has been brought up in a book that people will be able to read in the future doubt it that'd be uh, funny you know like is there still like year recap books for old people i'm sure there are james yes you know? there's yes there are why i was just wondering i'm pretty sure times come still comes out with a yearly recap book okay yeah. even though we still have a I, mean. I don't know even though there's a fucking thing called google yes but i'm thinking of like encyclopedia on your phone or something like that but i'm thinking of like future proofing stuff of like the grid goes down we can still look at that information you mean like an encyclopedia yes like a yearly encyclopedia i wonder i'm if, sure is, that's you, still a thing i'm maybe hmm. i'm sure there is i'm sure you could i mean what you need to do is get your hands on an old encyclopedia so you could see what what they've yes. taken out been taken out what do you mean just like have you not seen those quote unquote like 
useless information. No, no, no. Like they've changed the information. Like oh, there's a t- okay. yeah, like there's a TikTok lady who's like, this is a 1975 encyclopedia, and it reads this, but you go and Google it, it says this, and it's like opposite land. Oh, that's funny. Or the Mandela effect or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Your conspiracy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so all right, last story of the week, ladies and gentlemen. Your I think I might have done this one or not, but we need to do it again. I'm trying to refresh, but if we have, my bad. If not, it's new to everybody. All right. So. (sighs) Just making sure of everything. Six-year-old daughter beat me up, but I am apparently in the wrong. To start this, I am a preschool teacher. It's not great money or anything, but the kids are awesome, and I enjoy working with kids. I have my whole life. But today I'm rethinking my job because of this incident. Today we had two sisters in the classroom together. One is seven and very timid and sweet. The other is six and is a nightmare. The older sister was playing (laughs) with some blocks and making a tall building and the little sister, who is actually a middle child which makes so much sense, kept destroying it. This obviously upset the older sister and I just said hey let's go play with some other friends with something else and take a break and tried to guide the little sister away and she picked up a block and hit me in the face with it. I was shocked. What the fuck? I took the block from her only to be met with a barrage of punches to the stomach and chest. All I could think is this little girl is beating me up. Anything I do I will lose my job. So I try to block her hands and yell to stop and she grabs a chunk of my hair and yanks as hard as she can. Literally taking a chunk out of my head. I then just walk away because there's nothing I can do to control this child and I radio the front to get some help and to take a break and my boss comes in and gets the parents on the phone and I think that's the end of it. But when the parents come to pick up the two sisters they tell me that I obviously need more training and that the whole situation was totally preventable and they were upset that I yelled at her to stop and that I grabbed her to get her to stop punching me. They literally told me to get a book about gentle parenting because it has helped them so much. I am seriously considering quitting childcare altogether. I have nowhere to go but I can't deal with the parents anymore. I'm sorry your child is a psycho and does this to friends all the time and is upgraded to physically assaulting teachers. First of all, you know how you would have stopped that, should have stopped that little girl? By kicking her chest directly through her fucking back. Oh, yeah. And, like, if they're saying some shit like that, that's when you go get the fucking video footage from the fucking classroom. If there's and, video footage. If there's video footage. Yeah. And you know? Like, no, you take those fucking parents to court if you can. Like, fuck that. Dude, fuck those parents. Yeah. Those parents are fucking douche canoes. It doesn't matter her age. You got assaulted. You can sue the fucking parents. Yeah. Their six-year-old assaulted you. Now yeah. you have to go f- find a new job, which I don't blame you. Fuck those parents. And I would say fuck that school for not fucking protecting you better. Mm-hmm. And if there's a union, <clears throat> the union should be involved as well. Yeah. Like, there's a list of routes that can, you can probably go down to help yourself out. No shit, but this is probably at a daycare center where they pay $13 an hour. Yeah. You know, and this lady does it for the love of it, and she just got the shit beat out of her by a six-year-old who should have been choke slammed into the fucking concrete. You know what I'm saying? I am all about beating kids. Like, I used to never believe, you should never hit your children. Fuck that. Whoop the shit right the fuck out of them. Like, it's just like, Tommy and Five Finger right have... across their fucking head. Just like, what the fuck are you doing? Obviously, there's like a limit. Yeah, don't fucking be ridiculous with it. But yeah, why it's... is Timmy crying? Because he fucked up. I think he men punched his sister. Nowadays, ha- need to learn what like talk shit get hit. It's a thing still. Yeah fuck around and find out you can still fuck around at six and you will still find out like it's still a thing like it's not like that's gone yeah this lady got her hair yanked and a barrage that kicked in punches oh my god you know what she should have done took it by her fucking head and just smashed it against the nearest fucking wall oh did that hurt Oh, are you crying? Let's do everyone a favor and go over there because no one cares. Shut yeah, up. I'm not. Ima- I'm imagining that this not like that big of a woman. She's just 
trying to do a side job work with fucking children. That's what I'm imagining right now. Is. That's what I'm imagining right now. Because I feel like some of the Reddit comments would be like, why don't you just pick up the kid and stuff? And it's like, if the woman's like a fucking hundred pound little woman, she's not going to be able to. What the fuck? Did you ever yeah, speak? Did you ever see that Reddit question of like how many third graders could you take on? Uh, like <laughs> if here, how many could you take on 10 at a time once you knock them out? Like they evaporate, like it was a game. Yeah. And you just have whatever is weapons in the room. How many could you take on? Like third graders. How old is that? I forget what it was. Like it's like eight, right? I don't know. Like they're all going to release 10 at a time at you. How many do you think yeah. you can take out? How many tens can you go through? I think it was something like that. Third graders, I am fucking Eight-year-olds? some up. Yeah, what was that? Eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine. There's gonna be some big fuckers. There is. There are gonna be, but I'm gonna fuck some of them up. That would be like my dream. Yes. To just like be able to just be. I'm just imagining sh- the Adam Sandler scenes. Just the- and Billy Madison. That would be my dream. Like, I mean, I'm not killing the kids. I'm just knocking, you know, fuck. I'm picking one up by the feet and fucking like tornado the fuck out of them. I'm knocking kids out with kids. Let's do some damage. How many do I think I can? That would be like the greatest zombie apocalypse is like a zombie cop apocalypse of like third grade children. Like, where you have to like kill them all. There's a movie like that. Uh, cooties no danger children at play never heard of it it's a horrible like super cheaply made 80s movie but the entire ending is like a 17 minute scene of just m- adults murdering children but that that would be my dream that the movie there's a movie called cooties it's pretty fun it's a b rated like directly to stream i think i forget who's in it uh the guy who played uh Packer in the office uh does a couple of whammy he was fucking an anchorman fuck i can't think of his name not worry about it he played the sport he was the sports anchor and fucking anchorman he's in it yeah he plays like the gym teacher dude i did something my fucking neck man it's like stiff on one side (laughs) i can't get it loose i guess it's the way i slept all right that's all i got ladies and gentlemen hope you had some fun (laughs) We're all laughing. Real life here. is just D and D. Someone come and change my mind. No, I'm gonna get a paragraph from Kelly Loper telling me how I'm wrong. No, he's just sending '80s videos just to prove how great the <laughs> cocaine was back in the day. <laughs> hey, what he sent me men at work the other day. I just started fucking laughing my balls off. I was high as fuck. He sent me one of those. I just giggled like an asshole. I think I'm yeah. Haha. No, I I love Kelly. I don't mean to be mean. I just like poking at him, making so. fun of him. All right. Well, Jamie, you got anything else? Nope. I'm going to go to work. I got to work like 12 hours today. So, what What time is it? What is it? 9 30? Yeah. Oh, boy. Cutting it close, aren't we? All right. No, I got an hour. Okay. There you go then. Uh, I don't know what you got to go fix now. Uh, Anything? Promote? No. Can't go under skate score either. Uh, Twitter. But yeah. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you go to loss. Our losers are on Twitter. On or find us on Twitter. Jesus, <laughs> cry money. We're okay. Watch it on YouTube and Rumble. Let me start this all over. If you're watching on YouTube and Rumble, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button again. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, hit the five star review, share it with your friends. You know, follow us there. If you want to follow us on Twitter, it's at losers underscore loss. It's Instagram loss underscore losers underscore podcast. Uh, everywhere else. 90% sure. Uh, you want to find any wild stories you want to send to us? It's uh, Lost Losers Podcast at gmail.com. All one word. Um, What else? Oh, you want to support us? Uh, you can go to the Patreon channel. It's $5 a month. Get the episode a day early. All that good stuff. And uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, LostLosers.com. Go buy some merch, ladies and gentlemen. I really appreciate all of it. It just goes right back on this podcast. We're trying to make it bigger, better, and wilder for all of you. Now, to all the people that we talked about today, 
the little girl, the parents, and everyone else. Steve. Back in my day, we didn't call you Karen. We looked you dead in the eye and called you a cunt. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody. Love you.